What's up guys, welcome back to another Twin Motion project. And in this project, we're going to further explore the context, but on a level of vegetation. We're gonna start using the vegetation painter and start painting on vegetation in our project over this context. So if at any point in this video you learn something and you like the video, of course, please demolish that like button, it really does help. So at this point, let's jump into it. Now I've got this context model. If you watched my previous video, I worked on getting all this context in, and this is just Dallas, somewhere in Dallas, Texas. I've got the city hall here, and we've got this nice city hall plaza that I went ahead and painted grass onto. So we're gonna start adding vegetation here with the vegetation painter. So you can see all my different areas here in my context. That's great. I'm gonna collapse that for now. And now I'm gonna come down here to context and then vegetation paint. And with this, I'm now prompted to choose different types of vegetation that I want to paint on really any surface in my model. So maybe we want to grab a tree, or actually let's grab this, this little pine here. And so now once, once I have this selected here, I've got my pine, I can now choose the pine and I can change the density if I want. And I also have settings here and I can change all these different settings of that specific, particular pine. But before I do that, let's go ahead and actually get this painted into my project. So to do that, what I'm gonna have to do is, once I'm in vegetation paint, I'll actually have to select the vegetation paint with the paintbrush here, and this will now give me a diameter that I can work with. And I can change this diameter, you can see the size change that I wanna work with. So let's let's say you know somewhere around 100 feet in diameter. And I can just click and hold, and as soon as I do that, I can see that I'm starting to paint on all of these different types of vegetation. So right now I've just, I have this one and you can see that I have my vegetation painted on right there. So let's deselect this. And with this deselected, I can now see that I have my painted vegetation right there. In this case, it's the fifth one. So I've got all my vegetation there and it's its its own entity because I have painted that on. So the nice thing about that is I can still click on my painted vegetation, I've got my selection, I can click on my pine, go into my settings and I can start to even change all of these different settings. I can change the age of them, make them bigger or smaller, change the season, whether, you know, it doesn't matter, I can turn the wind on or off, just basic things like that. But the nice thing about this is, you know, maybe I want this to be denser and basically I want to see more and I want the, I want the density to be higher. This is going to change based on the type that I have in here, but we can take this one step further and I'm actually going to delete this and start from scratch. So I'm going to go back to context, vegetation painter, and let's choose a tree that we like in this case. Let's choose this lime tree. And so I can start to paint this on. And again, I will, let's make this diameter slightly larger. And as I paint this on, we can see that I'm starting to see my different lime trees. That's great. And we've got my vegetation there. I can select my lime tree. Again, change the density to increase the density or not. But the nice thing about this is I can also start to add additional elements to my painted vegetation. Because let's say that I'm trying to make a forest <laughs> or I'm just trying to populate this plaza with a you know a, a nice difference in trees and grass you know uh, get a nice variety of things here so let's go ahead and what we can do is actually add a second tree I can take this bamboo for example and I can add this bamboo and as soon as I do that this bamboo is going to be populated into my paint my painted selection so I again wherever I've painted this now bamboo tree as well as lime tree will populate and I actually have individual options over each of these in this case I can change the density of all the bamboo if I want to see a lot more bamboo maybe I want to see less trees or more trees I can do it independently so the nice thing is the settings work independently as well I can change the age of the bamboo and again I'm just now in the bamboo I can change the age of just the bamboo if I want I can turn the season to something else if I want. In this case, I'm not seeing the difference in the bamboo. But we can take this really to an infinite level because I can continue painting 
and paint this same thing on, <laughs> make this as crazy as I want. I'm going to tr turn the density down on those just so we could see less and see the variety of things that we're adding here. But now maybe I want to, instead of trees, maybe I want to put in some grass and flowers. Let's go ahead and put some wild grass. So once I do that, we can come in here and we can see that I start to see my wild grass. That's really nice. And I can ch change the density of that grass just like that. We can see that density increase. We can see that, please wait, the work is in progress. Clearly, there's a lot in this painted vegetation. This is going to take a minute, but I can increase the density of the grass just like that. We can see it finally updated. So much grass. And again, we can add different types of things in here. Clovers, all you know, essentially weeds if you want. You can take this really as far as you want. There's different weeds here. Tall grass. Let's put the tall grass, bring the density of the tall grass up a bit. And so I'm going to actually go make it so that we're on the ground and we can see all of this ridiculous amount of vegetation. So <laughs> again, you can take this as far as you want. I'm going to add one large tree in here now so we can start to see all the different trees. This is a ridiculously large pecan tree. And finally, we can see there's my pecan and we can start to populate the density of that just like anything else. Again, the settings, you can see that the, the season actually does work with the trees a lot differently than it does with anything else because we can see it change there, change the growth of just those trees. We could even go as far as to add the same tree. And so maybe we want to see different sizes of the same tree. We'll go ahead and get off the ground here. Something I do want to say is that I can't stress this enough using the vegetation paint or really anything with lots of vegetation like this definitely save your twin motion project often because i can't tell you how many times i've had to reopen and redo certain parts of vegetation because twin motion just crashed and obviously you can understand if i select this all the different elements that i have in this particular paint and there's so much going on and increasing the density like you can just see how the program could just give up and crash but the one last thing I want to do now is we can see that I've got my pecans and they're they're set to winter and their their age is at 34% you know maybe I want to have the same tree but a different size or maybe they're still in autumn or something like that well I can simply go and add another pecan tree and once I do that, I've got two pecans. And that's that's nice because at this point, now I can treat them independently. Let's go ahead and change the density on this second pecan to about 20. That's about right. And now maybe we'll, we want to change the season to autumn. And then we can turn the size, the age, maybe keep that about 40%. So there's a distinct difference in the size of the winter versus the autumn, things like that. We can go ahead and adjust the size here on the winter to be a bit smaller and so you can treat them independently just like that and so this is starting to look really good obviously it's quite insane to see this uh, amount of foliage and variety in a downtown area but it's it's immense and <laughs> it's so easy to get the level of detail that you never thought you could achieve with something so quickly like this looks beautiful it's the type of thing that you wouldn't expect to get it out of a program like this but it's very simple very easy using the vegetation painter to achieve something like this in a matter of minutes. So if you have any questions, do leave those in the comments section below. I'll be sure to answer all of them. This is very, it's a pretty simple tool, but there's a lot that can go wrong. Definitely save often. <laughs> Please do that. Do not suffer as I have. Also, if you did learn something and you enjoyed this video, please demolish that like button. It really, really helps me a lot. Also consider changing the phase of that subscribe button to existing. That, of course, also always helps me out. I sure hope to see you in the next Twin Motion video. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.